guys, and Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in from wherever you are. It is probably the warmest Christmas that we've had in years. I don't even remember the last time it was like this. As you can see, it's very sunny outside. You can't even like tell with this camera or anything. Even my finger was blurry just doing that. Gosh, it's like 50 or 60 something degrees. It's like high 72, it's nuts. But I'm not complaining because that means I get to wear like short sleeves and stuff in Lynchburg, Virginia. That's a huge blessing. I'm just checking the weather here. I'm pretty sure it's like a, yeah, a high of 70. It's 64 degrees outside right now. I woke up a couple hours ago. I decided to sleep a little bit more than I had uh, um, intended to. I was gonna get up at like 7 or 7.30, but um, I just woke up a little bit more tired because I didn't go to sleep until like late last night. Just doing some work, catching up on stuff, and I'm gonna be doing that a little bit for the next like probably an hour or two because I'm not completely done getting ready, but in a couple hours I'm gonna be going to see my mom at her workplace. So basically we're gonna all go and meet up there and then later go to my mom's house for actual Christmas celebration and stuff where I get to give the rest of my family my gifts that I got them and stuff. So, because last night was a Christmas Eve celebration at my grandparents' house. And basically it was one of the most successful best celebrations that we've had. Every year I think it's gotten better, but last night I made a pumpkin mousse streusel trifle thing. It had all kinds of stuff in it. It was like pumpkin mousse with spice cake with more mousse and then an orange apricot sauce on it with a streusel that looked like granola, but it was like brown sugar, flour, oats, egg I think was in it. It was all kinds of stuff. It took probably a good half hour to make, but it basically came out to be this layered cup dessert thing that was like about that big. And it was a hit. My family loved it. Everybody loved it. I have the option of putting cranberries in it or not. I'm personally like, I'm okay with cranberries, but I prefer the dessert without it. So maybe I'll put the link to that down below in the description so you can check that out. Really not that hard to make. The presentation also kind of helps too, but it's a very rich dessert. And so I tried to limit myself on how much dessert I had last night. I only had a couple different things, like small things, before I actually ate that. It's like, of course I'm going to eat my own dessert. So I only had a little bit and I'm probably not going to eat much more dessert today, if at all. Because we, we are going to be eating a lot of food today. I always eat a lot of food every day. Today even more so because it's Christmas. Being that it's about 10.20 right now, we about 40 minutes until turning the TV on and watch the Christmas Parade at Walt Disney World. 32nd annual Christmas Parade celebration. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm hoping it's not too cheesy because it has a kind of a reputation for being that way. I know Walt Disney like the corny stuff, but there's a difference between corny and cheesy. A lot of times they go over the top with it, and I think just the right amount is what Walt's always like. Light, a perfect touch of it. And yesterday, I was at Macy's for about four and a half hours. It was a good shift. There was like a clan of us, I because I was on what's called meal or break, and basically what that is, is you go in, you call one of the numbers of the managers just to find out where you're gonna go. I started off, it's called Ready to Wear, which is a mixture of lots of different women's clothing brands that they can just pick off the rack and go and try on. There's another section of just women's clothing where it's the same idea, just higher tier brands. So so ready to wear, it's just more affordable clothing for women. I was there and then I transferred up to home department. I went back down to men's, came back up to home again. So I'm not complaining at all because I actually really enjoy doing that. It keeps things very interesting. I was trained to be super versatile. They know that I like going back and forth like that. Like I said, it keeps things very interesting. It keeps me entertained because I may or may not see the same people throughout the store. If they go to a different department to buy stuff, they might see me, but it keeps my job fun and I try to keep the experience fun for customers and keep it magical, keep it very entertaining and informative. That way, it's probably my favorite shift because then I'm not assigned to one department. It, it was a good time and then I had to like rush over to grandma and papa's house because no one told me like what time to be there. That was also a good time. Hopefully it's gonna be a happy, successful, fun day and I will catch you guys a little bit later. Warmest winter ever. A high of 68 and we're about at that point right now as you can see from the time there because it's in the middle of the day right now. I got home a little while ago from spending some time with my brothers and with my mom over at her workplace. She works at a senior living community. It was pretty fun. Free food. We got to have some quality time with her at her workplace. We're gonna be seeing her tonight and I mean like I live pretty close so it's not like I only see her like a few times a year or something like that so I'm pretty blessed to be able to do that. She got on the vacation that the rain stopped. It's actually raining on Christmas day. I don't honestly 
actually remember it ever raining on Christmas Day in Lynchburg, Virginia. And I've lived here my whole life, except for like 10 months in Michigan. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's so crazy because we don't have any snow, it's not even ice, it's not cold enough to do that. It's not anywhere near cold enough to have any frozen precipitation, so it's super odd. So we had a pretty good time with my mom. Every time I go there, I meet new people, and most of them are older than me, anywhere from my age to 60 years older, or even more than that. When I walked in, it was just a lot of really warm welcomings and greetings, and I don't know if welcoming is a word. Like I said tonight, I'm gonna be bringing the gifts that I got to my family to my mom's house. I'm gonna be going there probably a couple hours, maybe even less than that. I'm just gonna try to get a couple things done. I've been just relaxing and stuff. I've actually been watching interviews by all the original cast members and like even the new cast members of Star Wars, because they're interesting people. Like Carrie Fisher, she's changed a lot over the years. Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill, they've all seen a lot of the progress of Hollywood. All the blockbuster Hollywood days and stuff. Everything from, I don't know if I could say like the end of the golden age because I don't, I don't know exactly how long they've been involved with Hollywood, but I know that they've seen a lot of the progression of it at least. How things have moved and changed. It's just amazing to see and to hear from them because they have incredible stories and I think that they're in good shape, especially for, they're not like super old or anything. It's just they're super experienced. It made Star Wars, the movie, so good just to see them bringing the characters back and I know I've talked about this a little bit already in a previous vlog. That was just what I was doing all last night and some a little bit earlier. That's about it really for now actually, but I hope everyone's having a Merry Christmas. I will honestly say that working at Macy's and hearing people, the customers and co-workers say Merry Christmas to me, a lot of times even before I can get it out to them, <laughs> is a wonderful thing. It brings joy to me. I do put a lot of work into making the experience great and everything, but it's just a lot of fun. It brings happiness when, when people can say that and not feel offended. I am going to go and get some things done and I'll catch you guys later. This is a third time's a charm type thing where I've tried twice already where just trying to record myself because this is like vlogger's worst nightmare where you record something and you thought everything went smoothly but then whatever something happened and it didn't actually record I've actually made sure that I hit the record button but I don't know photo booth I just had to completely shut off the application and iMovie because that's my editing software and then restart photo booth and I just did a testing video came out played just fine so all I wanted to do was just do a little haul of Christmas celebration tonight I went to my mom's house just got back a little while ago. I guess I'll probably be speeding through this a little bit because now it's, it's almost like I've rehearsed it, but I haven't really. So just to start, I got some stocking stuffers here. Just to start, it's going to be, I have some large olives here, black olives, because I'm not a green olive fan, but I probably ever eat black olives. Nice note cards. Uh, it's a notepad, and so I'm going to take this out because it's going to bother me. If it, oh wait, no, that is actually the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so put that back. It's just a nice leather case with, with a notepad in it. And so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this here at my home desk or take this to the office. But I also have some popcorn, a bag of popcorn. I got like a box of those yesterday, so it's a popular thing. And then Cliff Bar as well, because I like Cliff Bars, and that's like, especially when I'm traveling, if I have a road trip, I take those, or even on the plane, I'll take those and eat those, because it's a nice snack that is healthy and filling. And I also got some dry roasted peanuts. That's it for the stocking stuffers. Also, I got some handkerchiefs. Oh, just a pack of handkerchiefs. I don't even really use them, but now I probably will. Also got some cash, and the cash is put into like the nicest gift card thing that I had ever seen. I mean, this is all this was for was to hold a gift card. I just got cash, and last but not least, my personal favorite thing for tonight was a T-shirt with Mickey on it in the form of a bodybuilder. I don't know if I would really call myself a bodybuilder. I mean, that's the sport that I do right now is bodybuilding, so I guess I can be called a bodybuilder. It's a really nice shirt. I guess he needs to hit legs, right? I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear that to the gym tomorrow or not, but I'm gonna be going there early tomorrow morning, probably by 10. It's gonna be cooler in the morning, and so I kind of feel more fresh and more rejuvenated when I go just a couple hours after waking up instead of waiting until after work or something. And so I'm gonna be pushing hard, and um, I'm gonna call it a night because I am a little bit tired. I'm planning on editing this vlog and scheduling it to be pushed out by about 6.30 tomorrow morning, so then whoever's up, which will probably be my mom, <laughs> I don't know who else is going to be up and at it at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but I know that she probably will be because she has to work early in the morning. I try to get it out there before she has to go to work, so she has a little bit of something to watch from her own son. I'll be hitting the sack after this, and I'll catch you guys later, and again, Merry Christmas.